All right, Shalom. First and foremost, I'm going to give all praises on and glory to Yahweh, which Yahweh is the Heavenly Father's true name. Yahweh Shaz in the world, they nearly call Jesus Christ, that's his true name. And Rechak is the Holy Spirit. And I'm also going to give double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone, who will teach well in the scriptures. Salutations to all the brothers out there who push his word in all truth and in all sincerity. And um, just another little quick exhortation video. And I know I go into this um, topic a lot, but, um, you know, it's just uh, a vibration that needs to get pushed, especially with the, um, you know, basically the days that we're living in, okay? And, the, you know, and the um, up-and-coming perilous times that are fast approaching, okay? You know, we got to constantly be very circumspect and be wise out here, okay, in our day-to-day -day walk. And, um, you know, there's more crime going on. You got, you know, bl uh, burglaries, you know, car hi um, hijackings, okay, home invasions. You know, uh, people are, um, what, is, what is that, uh, doing um, sex trafficking. You know, there's a lot of stuff going on in this world, okay? A lot of, uh, you know, shootouts, fights. You know, a lot of um, things are happening here in America, and that's because we're getting closer and closer to the end. And as you know, as you see out here in this world right now, you know, things are getting more, um, um, more hectic. And that's due to the fact that um, you have lack of jobs, lack of resources, lack of mirth, okay? So people are, um, they're getting frustrated, all right? These people are, you know, pretty much reacting on their impulses. And these people really have no standard anyway, so, you know, they're pretty much just beast out here. So us brothers, you know, that are in this truth, that are in the know, you know, we got to be very, very wise in how we uh, handle situations, how we walk in this world, all right? And, uh, you know, let's just start off with uh, the scripture here in Ephesians 5 and 15. It says, See then that ye walk circumspectly, not as fools, but as wise, redeeming the time because the days are evil. So... You know, we should be walking circumspectly. You know, pay attention in, uh, pay attention to your surroundings, okay? You know, one thing I was telling the brother, uh, one of the brothers in my, uh, you know, in the camp, I was telling him, I said, you know, hey, you know, be smart to, you know, uh, watch out. It's like you, yeah. airplane bypassing. But um, I was telling the brother to be smart, you know, to look, you know, um, at the cars in your neighborhood, see who's in the cars. You know, are these cars that are, you know, uh, parked here frequently, you know, frequently, you know, things like that. Pay attention to that, you know, because you like I said, you got people who are, you know, plotting and scheming. And who knows, maybe they, they, they might be plotting against you, you know, whether it beca be because of you preaching or just because, you know, you're that victim, that target that they, you know, that they have their eyes on, you know, you know, you never know. All right. You know, these things are, uh, um. These things, you know, can easily happen to any of us, even us that are in the truth. You know, you could have, you know, certain situations occur. So it's just, you know, just, you know, it's just best to be, you know, um, it's best to have your eyes open, you know. All right. I was also going to say, you know, you just pay attention to, you know, these people out here. You know, uh, um, as the scriptures say, um, let me get this real quick. Because, you know, we all have to, um, you know, run errands in this kingdom. All right. You know, you may have to grab some grub. You know, you might have to go to the, you know, the store. You know, we understand that. But, you know, if you see, you know, people arguing, you know, you see um, uh, fights about to, you know, uh, break out. You see, you know, just uh, people up to no good. It's best to, you know, you know, uh move quickly and get away from these individuals all right because it says here in Sirach 27 and 12 it says if thou be among the indiscreet and that's you know going into these uh people out here you know those that are um not in the know of you of uh Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, you know these worldly people basically it says if thou be among the indiscreet observe the time so you got to observe the time you got to know when you know you can be around these people when you have to make that move to go all right really gotta uh, be um 
uh, very uh, attentive to these things, okay? And it says, but be continually among men of understanding. And that's really what we, we should be doing, okay? You know, especially in these times, you shouldn't really want to be out here, you know, um, you know, out and about amongst the, uh, the wicked, okay? Because you, you never know um, when judgment is going to, you know, go forth, all right? And you don't want to get caught up in the crossfire, so to speak, you know? You don't want to be around that, all right? You, know, you don't really want to be talking to, you know, these people too long. You, you just want to basically, um, you know, be in the, uh, the shadow, so to speak, you know? You know, you do what you got to do and then, you know, you basically hide and, and you know, as the scriptures say, what you know we'll get. Um, in the book of Matthew talks about how we got to be wise as serpents, harmless as doves, right? You know, you got to learn how to slither away, you know. <laughs> you got to learn how to do these things, you know, while, you know, being um, in this captivity. This is Matthew 10 and 16. It says, Behold, I send you forth as sheep in the midst of wolves. Be ye therefore wise as serpents and harmless as doves. And you see, since we're those, um, those individuals that have departed from wickedness, you know, we um, have become a prey. All right, that's in the book of uh, Isaiah. It talks about that. All right. With that being said, we have to, as the scriptures say actually right here, we have to uh, be wise as serpents and harmless as doves. That's why I made that statement. You have to know when to slither away. All right. Because look, a snake, right? You, you, you observe a, a snake. A snake's not going to just, you know, be out there in the open where everyone can see it. And, you know... It being flashy, you know, it, you know, it's standing out. A snake doesn't do that. A snake camouflages with its surroundings. You know, it's there, but it's not there. And that's how we got to be. You know, yeah, we're, we're amongst, you know, these people. We're amongst this society. But we, we really have to, you know, have that, uh, as, you know, the apostles even said, you know, you got to be like that Clark Kent, you know. And that's the... Um, that's basically the, uh, uh, that's who Superman is, right? You know, you, you got Superman, you know, the hero. But we know when Superman is doing his day-to-day -day errands, what do you, who is he? He's Clark Kent. That's how we got to be, you know? We just got to be, you know, quiet. You know, we got to be that, hey, you know, people should know, uh, know of us as, you know, just hey, somebody that, you know, he just kept to himself. You know, he took care of his family and went to work, you know, or he had a small business, you know, he... He didn't really do too much. He, you know, wasn't making too much noise. You know, we got to be like that. You don't want to be loud out here. You know, and and just, you know, the, you basically you don't want to be that target. All right? That's something that, you know, we got to uh, remember. Because, look, th th this place, man. Um, hey, man, th these evils are growing, man, as we speak. You know, there, there's a lot of, you know... Um, situations going down as we, uh, uh, you know, as this, you know, as this, as I'm making this lesson or as you're listening to it, a lot of things are going on and it's only going to get uglier and uglier out here. It talks about that. The, uh, I think it says the evil shall grow. Let me get this. Yep. Oh yeah. This is a good scripture for this. This is, um, second Ezra 16 and, um, man, this whole chapter is heavy. Well, we'll just get to the point. This is 2 Ezra 16 and 21. Behold, victuals shall be so good cheap upon earth that they shall think themselves to be in a good case. And, you know, that's pretty much going into, you know, these um these goods. You know, you have a lot of, you know, buy one, get one free. You know, 50% uh, off, 60% off. You know, people think that they're, you know, um, getting deals. But in reality, that's a, a terrible thing. You know, if you know anything about business, when um, you see... A, uh, you know, stores, you know, giving out sales, it's either two things. One, they're trying to get rid of that particular product so they can um, uh, stock, you know, uh, new items in. Or they're trying to get rid of everything because they're going out of business, and that's called liquidation. And you see, that's what's happening to the majority of these uh, businesses out here. They're, do uh, they're, um, uh, they're liquidating as we speak, okay? 
You know, a lot of these stores, they're not coming back. It's done. It's a wrap. All right? You see? And um, you see a lot of people, they think that, you know, they're, they're, they're doing good right now. Like, oh, you know, I'm going to hurry up, um, you know, get these deals. And then, you know, uh, I'm going to, you know, uh, uh, you know, come up. You know, you got people um, that do, uh, what is that? They, they flip houses, right? You got a lot of individuals like that. They're happy right now because homes are, um, home prices are decreasing. So they're trying to, you know, the people who got money, they're trying to buy up these homes so they can flip these houses, even if they have to wait on them. They think they're going to get a return at, at, at some point. But see, these people don't understand that we're going through a new phase, all right? The elites are about to, you know, crash this whole system and that whole, um, that new system is going to be put into place, all right? You know, which is that, you know, what, that digital currency? And ultimately, you know, the push for the RFID microchip, which will have your new form of currency on it. That's the, uh, uh, the time that we're living in, all right? We're, we're, we're getting to the point where that, that major crash is about to happen. And a lot of these people are going to be in dire straits because they put all their investments, all right, they basically invested, um, you know, everything into the system and it's about to crumble, you know? You see? I'm going to keep reading, though. It says, and even then shall evils grow upon earth. Okay? And that's the time period we're living in where these evils are growing more and more and more. This is not going away. These plagues are sent. Okay? And these plagues aren't coming back. You know? And I think if you read up a little bit above, it talks about that in the second as it's the 16th chapter. It goes into that. Who can turn um, turn these plagues away? And the answer is nobody. If the Heavenly Father sent, you know, particular scourges and plagues, you, you, you can't do anything about it. It is what it is. This is His will. And it's going to stand. Okay? You see? Now it says, um, Then shall evils grow upon earth, sword, famine, and great confusion. And that's what you see. You see what? You know, nothing but fighting, skirmishes. What does it talk about in Matthew 24 chapter? The, the, the wars and rumors of wars, you know? Hey, you see it in America. What? You got civil unrest going on, okay? And you got uh, World War III building up, right? That's a, another thing that, that's not really talked about. You just had recently the, uh, the state of Israel and the United States, they bombed uh, 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 Iran again, you know? So this stuff is, uh, uh, it's happening right before our eyes, man. Okay? You see? Famines. We're seeing that. People have what? Lack of money to buy what? The, the, the food? You know, you're, you're seeing, um, there's a scripture saying, 2 Ezra, the 6th chapter, if I'm not mistaken, that, that the storehouses shall suddenly be found empty. Those storehouses, that they don't have food like that. Those, um, what do you call those, um, those, uh, uh food drives and those, uh, food pantries and all that they, they don't have food like that and that's because more and more people are going to these places to get food and they're not getting any donations okay you know it's a mixture of you got Esau he's um he's doing a thing um he's messing with the uh the, the food chain you know the, the supplies basically you know you know with the, the, the supply chain there we go that's what's called that supply chain he is messing with things where he is creating a man-made famine but at the same time you know you can't give this man you know all the credit you also have your how about shimmy out shy plaguing the earth you, you, a couple it was two years back in 2018 if i'm not mistaken 2019 you had uh, all those like uh, uh floods out there in uh the the you know the midwest out there more by like iowa um you know the uh, that pocket over there that killed uh, all these crops out here in illinois as well you know all these grains Killed uh, millions of livestock, you know. That's just one example. There, there's stuff that's been happening all over the world. You've had locusts, you know, all throughout the Middle East and and and, and in the northern part of Africa, uh, you know, destroying crops, you know, mudslides, all that stuff hitting, you know, China, hitting crops, you know, this stuff is hitting, man. So that's having an effect. So that famine is coming, man. And it's the last thing it said there is in great confusion. And that's the time period that we're living in right now, okay? We're in the state of great confusion, all right? 
well not us that are in this truth but you know the uh in general like the people out here you know the things that are happening all right this is bringing great confusion to this place man you know all right you see it all right you know that's why people they're you know they're panicking a lot of people are perplexed they're scared because they don't know what's going on they don't know if they're going to have a job they don't know if they're going to uh, be able to pay the mortgage you know pay the rent people are in a really bad state right now you see and with this all being said let's get this real quick what is that and uh probably ended off with this here um was that second peter with all this being said in second peter and this this scripture is going to be coming out more and more all right as we get closer to the end too all right um let's just get straight to the point in second peter 3 and 11 it says seeing then that all these things shall be dissolved what manners a person ought ye to be in all holy conversation and godliness all right so since we know all these plagues are coming all these evils upon the earth all right and ultimately that you know that great destruction that's about to happen okay what manner of person ought we to be how should we conduct uh because um because it talks about that holy conversation and godliness right that uh conversation goes into your conduct okay so what kind of conduct should you have right now you know you know how how, how should be salakia got that another plane bypassing but um you know how how should you be um you know living your life how should you be uh how should you be uh, maneuvering in this place you know and uh the answer to that is that we got to behave ourselves wisely in all our ways as king david did you know that's in the book of the, uh, the i think uh, first samuel right you can look that up yourself it talks about how king david behaved himself wisely okay and that's how we should be you know we, we should be beha behaving ourselves wisely in this kingdom we shouldn't be um you know out here acting a fool we shouldn't be you know too flashy we shouldn't really be loud when i say loud i'm not just saying by like you know as in volume i'm saying just loud like bringing that attention to yourself you know all right you know the we, we really got to walk you know um with that wisdom and we really have to you know apply scriptures you know we really gotta uh just kind of you know like i said earlier we just gotta you know be in the midst of these people you know you, you, you don't really want to be you know um completely away from everybody so to speak but you don't want to be too close you know to everybody you know you just want to be you know just close enough where you don't look odd like I, you know basically that's the best way to to put it so you don't look odd you know you may talk about what you know uh the basketball game you may talk about a you know video game uh you know maybe you might just you know say a thing or two about the, you know the political events that are happening you know but that's really about it you don't really like you know get into it you know with these people you don't you don't talk too much all right but uh you know that's pretty much it you know and you know uh probably be making more of these um as time you know goes by um it's just you know this is the spirit right now you know the lord wants us to uh get ourselves in order all right hey the scriptures talk about set thy house in order that's in second Ezra, it's the 14th chapter i think the 13th verse set thy house in order so we got to get ourselves you know uh on point you know that's a huge thing right now we got to really um get ourselves you know on point because look they, they these evil days man they're they're fast approaching man before you know it man they, all hell's gonna break loose man you know all hell's about to break loose in this place and you know we want to be um you know, we just want to be shielded and guided by yahweh bashim Shai. all right because that's really the only uh way we're going to get out of this you know predicament you know that's you know a uh, fast approaching all right so with that you know i hope this was edifying and i want to give all praises honor and glory to yahweh bashim al Shai. also double honor city apostle now was a great millstone and salutations to all you brothers out there shalom